Hey, if you guys want to learn how to hardwire your GPS, your dash cam, your power outlet for a nice cleaner look and so it's not so messy where it almost looks like it is a factory install. Y'all hang on, I'll show you, I'll show you how I did it. Hey y'all, we're gonna do a couple things this morning. Last week I hardwired this, um, I guess it's like a power strip or whatever where you have multiple adapters and it's got a USB down here. Charge cell phones, whatever. Um, basically I ran that underneath through the back of the paneling up through here and my fuse box is behind this. And the other thing I'm going to do today, and that's pretty straight, that's pretty straightforward. The thing I'm going to do today, um, wiring that in was pretty straightforward. Uh, you just hook it up to 12 volt, you're good to go. Now today I'm going to be wire, hard wiring my GPS. And as you can see, I have another uh, dash cam. Because in my brain fartery I hooked these both up to 12 volts and kind of fried both of them so got another TomTom -tom. this was uh, the XXL TomTom -tom. it's uh, I think it's 40 bucks so that sucked um, my other uh, car my other dash cam that I had I think it was $18 or something like that uh, this one was, I don't remember, 22 or something, hold on. Look, there's my beautiful wife. Whenever I bought this, so this was 30 bucks. Um, I was reading some of the reviews and they had like over 500 people review it and it was in the four and a half percent or four and a half stars or whatever. Um, which is pretty good. The, the only thing is is that they said that the night quality sucks on this But you're paying 30 bucks, so you really can't expect too much for the night um, And then I got two dash camera Hardwire install kits uh, This one here is going to be Let's see one of these this one here was the 894 it has a just a straight mini USB and this one was a little bit more expensive it was a 1499 but it has the oh, where is it? the curved deal which is what this TomTom -tom has it's curved so these are both rated at 5 volts you can look on Can look on the back of this Let's see how well you can see that but it says output 5 1 amp 5 volt 1 amp and then if you look on let's see this It says 5 volt 1.2 amp. Um, the amperage is basically how quick it's going to charge. Since this is going to be plugged in all the time, it, that really doesn't matter as far as the, the amperage part. And this one I think is a 1. Point, yeah, that one's 1. 1.5 amp. So again, since these are hardwired in, it doesn't really matter as far as that goes. So. Whenever I was doing this, my uh, file was corrupted. So, I'm going to kind of redo it. So, we're going to determine, let's say that this was lost or, you know, you don't have the information or, or you just want to test, test out another circuit. Um, this is how you'll do it. Here's all your, your fuses and all that stuff. 
and what you'll do is you'll put your positive onto these little uh, these little nubs right here. You can see that, and you'll put your negative to a ground, and it can be any ground any ground you want, and you should only get power whenever you should only get power whenever the key is on so if we we're gonna stick that in there so if you look right here, we have power. We have power whenever the key is not on. But so we can find something else that all have power. My only two that I have on whenever the key is on are these that I'm actually using. But you'll, like I was saying, you put your your positive on each one of these little nubs, and you'll get you'll get power um, whenever the key is off. Like there's nothing there. Put back on the two and. You have voltage. So, turn the key off. Back on the two. And no voltage. That's what it should look like. 